ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Engearment's review for the Solo So Stove 2 Pie. If you take a look inside over here, you can see that fire shooting up from the back and it's got a re deflector that's gonna have the flyer shooting up right up the top of the dome of the oven. This oven comes in just at a total of 32 pounds. Really easy to transport. We do recommend a pretty large propane tank if you're gonna cook large parties. So far we've cooked about 10 pies today. Been doing pretty well. Everyone's been pretty happy. But I'm gonna show you what happens when we make a pie courtesy of Sliceworks and their dough. And I'm your pizzioli, uh, Joseph Lakin, and here with Engearment.com. And follow for the review. Here we go. First thing we're going to do to make this pizza is get a nice flat surface. And we're going to put it onto our tray. This is, this is a, lot, a little bit of a bigger pizza for what we want for this size oven, but it works perfect. Usually you want a 12-inch pie, which is about 250 grams of flour. This is about 450 to 500 grams of flour. So it will be fine. And uh, pizza's been sitting out already for kind of a while. So we're just kind of kind of spinning here like Luigi and uh, Mario. And uh, we don't want to spin it too much. We just want to kind of get it to where it fits perfect onto the oven. And we're gonna get one throw up in the air. Hey! One for grandma and here's for grandpa and here's for old mother Italy. Okay, we want to make sure it fits beautiful onto the pizza peel obviously with this oven it's for a nice 12 inch pot this will be like a Chicago dish kind of kind of people from Chicago where it's thick and nice and full of sauce and cheese and ricotta and everyone's gonna love it so don't worry about that give it a little bit of a couple of potches and everything's <laughs> gonna be good all right now our sauce is courtesy of our man uh, Chris from Philadelphia he had some flowing in on a private jet some New Jersey <laughs> tomatoes it's gonna be delicious I promise you all right so we're gonna take a nice big hearty helping of that and we're gonna Spin it on there and all the way around. Oh my gosh, Marigazzo, this looks so good. If I was Italian, my grandmother would be rolling in her grave with happiness. <laughs> all right, and now we're gonna, we're gonna put a little bit of Parmesan at the bottom because some people like to put it on at the end. I personally think Parmesan should be kind of like an ice cream, should be at the bottom, the top, it should be a little bit everywhere. And we're gonna take our fresh mozzarella log and we're just gonna go ahead and put some nice hearty pieces onto it. Once again, this is a solo stove, solo stove pie two, or slice two, or solo stove pie two? Correct. Solo stove, solo stove pie two. I tell I'm not really good at these uh, videos and online stuff, but we're making it happen. And I think that's about much as we need in terms of that. And this is just gonna be a plain margarita pie. And before we throw it in there, we're just gonna kinda of stretch it out a little bit more to take up most of the pizza peel. And and you can see, we got our pie here. So low stove, let's see how long it takes. And it's in the oven. We're gonna want this to cook a little bit longer, so we're gonna turn the temperature down all the way to the back, just because it'll cook and burn too fast, because it's a thick dough, so we'll give it a minute to cook. Sean, go ahead. In a minute here we're going to use the, the solo stove also does come with a uh, pizza utility peel which allows you to spin the pizzas much easier than just the uh, basic peel that you use to slide your pizza in. And we don't want to burn this guy, we want it to be a nice beautiful pie for our review. We're going to spin them around inside there. <laughs> We're about 49 seconds into the bake over here. I'd say maybe a minute and a half at most, 90 seconds to maybe two minutes until this thing is done. It's really cooking nicely in there. You can see, Sean, if you come a little bit closer, you can see how that crust is starting to, to get nice and brown in the bottom. You can see it's really nice. 
This is a great oven. I definitely recommend it for all your uh, camping and uh, family outdoor picnics and pool parties. Tailgating at the pass. Tailgating and skiing and mountain biking and everything. And don't forget to get this right in time. Click the link on Engearment before Labor Day when you need all those pizza parties and you're out with your friends and family. We're about 90 seconds into our cook. We're just going to pull it out for a brief second to take a look at it. Look at how beautiful that uh, is. Oh, it looks like, oh my gosh. And the bottom is nice. Really beautiful. We're going to turn it up a second. They got a nice char on it. Oh, you get a look inside that fire shooting up over there. Voila. Wow. Beautiful pie of pizza. I'm gonna put it on here. I'm gonna turn that off. We're gonna get our pizza peel here. And we cooked this pizza pizza in just about two minutes and 20 seconds. And I think if we would have had a uh, little bit of a lighter dough and uh, in about 250, 300 grams, we probably could have cooked a Neapolitan pizza in easily 90 seconds. And we're just gonna go ahead and uh, Slice that open right here. Look at that. Oh, we take a look at that. And we take a look at that crust and look inside there. That's a good crust. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at the bottom. It's nice and burnt and everything is cooked equally. And it's not flopping, which is always a good sign. Beautiful sign of a nice undercarriage, nice and cooked. That's delicious pie pizza. If you want to make good pizza with limited expense, I definitely recommend the Solo Stove. It will definitely meet all your family's needs whether you're using this for a small business or at family barbecues or birthdays or pool parties, definitely check out the Solo Stove in Gearment.com. Yosef, hope you all have a happy and a great weekend. Thank you.